Let's do a log question today. All right, welcome back to the channel. I thought we could do a logarithm question. This came from an IB higher level exam a few years back. I think you were sort of expected to work within a three minute time frame and no calculator to do this question. All right, so look at this. They wanna know what M and N would be to balance the equation. Um, a couple of challenges. Students often don't know where to start the question. Um, and also to the base is three and the base is nine. So if I'm gonna create an equation here, mirror, mirror on the wall, the left-hand side has to be equivalent to the right-hand side, the bases ought to be the same. So what I'm gonna do is take the strategy of almost like an identity, if you've, if you've ever tried to prove identities, I'm gonna take this, which looks a little more complicated than that, and I'm going to try to mold it to look like that. So right off the bat, I noticed that's base nine. I want it to be base three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the base. So on this, I'm gonna leave this alone for now. So 10 times the log of six over the log of nine. And that's called the change of base identity. The log of six divided by the log of nine is equivalent to the log of six base nine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna conveniently make the base three. At this stage, I can put any base I want to in there. That's kind of convenient. You'll also notice that the denominator is log of nine base three. Well, that's just two. So on the next line, I'm going to take the 10, that's in the denominator and divide it by two. The log of nine base three is two times the log of six base three. Well, now I have the chore of trying to figure out how I can get a log two, that's log six but six is two times three. So watch what I can do. I'm gonna write that as five. 10 divided by two is five. That's gonna be the log of two times three base three. That's called your product law, right? Two times three is six. And then what I could do is pull those apart because you see I've got two terms here and only one term there. So what I'm gonna do is think of brackets right here and then I'm gonna use the product law. So here I'm gonna write five bracket the log of two base three plus the log of three base three. Do you see? And that's kind of nice because the log of three base three is, you know it, it's one. The log of anything base itself is one, which is really nice. I think I've already got it. Look at this, folks. If I bring the five through, I'm just gonna write it here for comparison. Well, five times one is five. And five times the log of two base three is five, times the log of two base three. Well, I think we have touched down here, look. That means that M has to be five. So therefore, M is five. And also look here, the negative N, the negative N is equal to five, so N is equal to negative five, because they're equivalent in all other manners. So there you go, we've got our answers. M is five and N is negative five. We did it in a pretty short period of time. The goal is to do these questions, not just effectively, but efficiently. You gotta stay within time. All right, if you like the video, slap a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you right back here for more math fun.